Welcome to The Rich Report, a podcast with news and information on high-performance computing. Today, my guest is from Micron. We have Mike Black. He is an HMC technology strategist at the company. Mike, welcome to the show today. Hey, Rich. Thanks for having me. Well, well thanks for coming on, Mike. You know, we're, uh, we're doing this a little ahead of time with your announcement, but uh, a lot of announcements at ISC, and I thought it'd be good to talk about what's going on with the hybrid memory cube. That's excellent. We're uh, really looking forward to the event next week, and or this week, I guess it will be, and, and talking more about what HMC is doing and some of our collaborative efforts around that technology. And just uh, we'll just go jump in into our slide deck, Rich. If we look at uh, you know kind of the current situation, and I don't think this is a surprise to anybody, it's just the you know the challenges associated with the uh, the high performance computing space and trying to. Get uh, get through this memory wall, this this barrier that these high performance uh, CPUs and you know many core CPUs have been challenged with in terms of just getting enough access to memory density, memory bandwidth, and and HMC was really a technology that uh, that pushed through that wall to just start opening up you know some more of these complex systems for you know for better uh, better analysis and big data and material sciences and those. And so we'll just jump to the next slide that, again, just as a quick overview as we uh, get into the conversation of, you know, what, what's exciting for this announcement is just an update again on HMC. And HMC, as you know, is the, it's a heterogeneous package. It's a, it's a stack of memory DRAMs optimized on a memory process sitting on top of a logic chip that's optimized uh, for the logic process. And, and the combination of those technologies have allowed us to construct a, a, a 3D cube that gives tremendous bandwidth while providing that bandwidth at you know, very, very optimized energy efficiencies. And so you know, the, the key applications that have just been looking for a solution like this are the high performance computing space, high end server space, and, and in the, you know, the networking equipment uh, sector also looking for high performance memories like this. And so let's jump, uh, let's jump to the next slide. Rich, and what we're talking about, and I think what's most going to be most interesting for our, uh, our audience is that, you know, in, in parallel paths, Micron has been very involved in this consortium, the Hybrid Memory Cube Consortium, where, you know, basically there's 150 companies out there all participating together to provide an industry open standard platform around the technology, and, and Micron's currently sampling our first commercial device around that specification. And also, we've been collaborating uh, with our one of our key partners, Intel, and working with them on their Xeon Phi technology, uh, the latest generation known as Knight's Landing. And we've been working to adopt uh, a memory technology from HMC that would be a good fit for uh, for their technology requirement. And we'll flip to the next slide. And, and as a kind of as a sneak peek. Clear back in IDF in 2011, Micron and Intel showed off the first generation kind of technology platform demonstrator around uh, this, uh, this 3D stacked memory solution. And, and so back in uh, September of 2011, we showed an a HMC stack, basically a, a 3D memory technology sitting on top of a logic chip. So we were, it was, a, it was just more, you know, just a base technology demonstration, so we didn't have it full featured, but it did incorporate an Intel interface on that stack as well. So Intel, very curious to in, ensure that the interface would operate properly with their, you know, their side of the, on the host, and then on our side, that making sure that our logic chip would interact well with the, the DRAM stack on top of it. So, so that was kind of the debut of a, of a collaborative effort. And then, so if we jump to the next slide, we'll introduce the technology that's, uh, that Intel is going to be talking about is, is MC DRAM or multi-channel DRAM. And essentially what that is, Rich, is it's, uh, if you think of HMC and all the benefits associated with that, we, we pluck off the open interface, memory interface that's defined by the consortium, and we put an interface that was optimized for the Knight's Landing platform. That's, uh, that, that tightly couples to Knight's Landing to, to provide, uh, you know, an in-package integrated memory package for their platform to just give them a very, very good, you know, performance and energy efficiencies uh, for their uh, for the next generation launch. And that's what uh, that, that's what you'll see them talking about as well. 
the uh, the next slide is a is just a kind of it's just a cartoon, Rich, of what and you know kind of a high level general visual of of, of what we're talking about, and and um, we'll let Intel talk about the specifics, you know, more or less of, of really what the the system level improvements are and, and impact to the system. But in, in essence, uh, you know, we're giving them five x the performance that they can get with the GDDR and get up to sixteen gigabytes of memory density. So this this cartoon reflects eight uh, of the MCD RAM devices sitting on uh, on a substrate with the, the CPU, and then that basically all sitting into a, a, fits into a socket for the for the system. So I'm sure we'll see uh, additional image imagery around this technology at, at the conference. But this is just uh, kind of a high level visual, so that we can kind of put it in perspective for uh, for the for the audience. And then, just as a follow-on to that, Rich, we just have some uh, key messaging and key strategy points that uh, that you know that Intel and Micron want to just share with the audience in terms of, of what we're doing. We're uh, you know we're, we're we're careful not to talk, at least from a Micron standpoint. You know, it's, it, this is Intel's kind of big debut of, of of a next generation platform around the Xeon Phi. So so most of the information relative to performance and those things will be coming from them. You know, from a micron standpoint, we're just excited that you know we're able to share that you know that uh, that the two companies have worked uh, well together to to just you know really power and provide our customers uh, a good innovative platform to you know from which to launch another system. And and so you know uh, kind of short sweet update, but uh, it's exciting technology. It's uh, it's exciting for both companies to talk about, and uh, really excited to you know to share that with you today. Yeah. And I wanted to ask you about uh, just in general about uh, HMC. It, 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 does it come in different form factors, Mike? Where it, it could it plug in, for instance, in a, an existing kind of a DRAM slot um, as well, and could people benefit from it uh, that way? So, uh, a great question. It does come in in a few form factors. We have different uh, package sizes and. Uh, link uh, availability. Mm -hmm. However, it is it is unique enough in its um, in terms of its interface, a serial interface, that it it isn't compatible with any of the existing uh, DRAM footprints. So it is a, a, a unique package and pinout style. Yeah, yeah. So, so this is very exciting for HPC. The memory wall is something we've been talking about for years, right? Because the the processing speed it keeps ramping up with Moore's law, but but memory um, it has been um, something that's been more flat. Uh, does this have headroom to grow in, 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 in that area of bandwidth, Mike? Yes, it, it, it sure does. And uh, I'm glad you asked the question because it's, you know, it, it has been something that, you know, as, as uh, we saw the CPU vendors add cores and threads to cores, we saw that gap widen very, very quickly from uh, our ability from the memory manufacturing you know, side to, to keep up with it. So this technology, because we utilize both a logic process and a DRAM process, uh, we have a lot of opportunity for, uh, for advanced uh, performance nodes uh, and feature sets as we go forward. So be looking for, you bet, for, uh, for additional uh, bandwidth increases uh, with next generation products as well as uh, advanced features that will be uh, offered in next generation products. Yeah, yeah, and and this night's nice landing being you know kind of targeted at HPC, uh, Mike. What about economies of scale? I mean, you know, HPC adopted DRAM because of the volume, and you could get the cost down. Um, uh, how will you get the volume going uh, for HMC to uh, you know for these supercomputers to take advantage? Well, uh, the you know it's, it is targeted in, in the high performance space, but we you know like everything else, we tend to see uh, you know this generation of performance is you know kind of tomorrow's more mainstream you know area. So we, we believe that uh, even though we're offering something that is 15 times the bandwidth of, of existing memory solutions, you know within just a few years, we're you know we're going to see more mid range systems looking for. Uh, access to, to much higher bandwidth. So we do see that, you know, that this technology will, you know, begin to waterfall down into more mainstream uh, systems as well. Well, great. I guess, I, you know, I know you can't tell me exact dates, but are, are we looking to see, would we see something, uh, you know, like in a product uh, within the next 
12 months, do you think, or is it farther out than that? Right, right. So we have, um, I think that we will be seeing multiple systems showing up in HMC over the course of the next 12 months. We've got a lot of activities going with customers and hopefully uh, being, uh, be talking to you soon, uh, you know, around another joint announcement. Uh, not, not much I can say today, but uh, rest <laughs> assured there, there will be more announcements coming. Well, great. Well, Mike, this is really exciting, and uh, I guess congratulations are in order. And uh, I want to thank you once again for coming on the show today. Uh, thank you. It's been my pleasure. You bet. Okay, folks, that's it for the Rich Report. Stay tuned for more news and information on high-performance computing.